Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm super excited. We're taking a look at an awesome middle-sized family travel trailer with bunk beds. This is a 2021 Forest River Salem model 26 DBUD. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this Salem and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. to another video my name is matt from matt's rv reviews towables it's the world's only channel giving you three things we love and three things we don't love about every single rv that we review and again today i am super excited to be reviewing the salem 26 we call it the d-bud but first before we begin i would like to say hi to will hey will hey guys what the heck's going on here in florida it's like the weather can't make up its mind yep now it's all windy it's okay. and everything yep it's florida it's nice I'd be all bundled up in Maryland, so yep. I'll take it. So, you excited? Yeah, I'm excited to take a look at this. This is actually a very popular floor plan. Probably one of the number one selling. Yeah, I'm sure. So yeah, excited to show you guys. Let's begin. Model is 26D D-Bud. Model 26 d bud But the actual tip to tip length of this travel trailer is 33 feet two inches. The dry weight is 7,068 pounds. In well, the tongue weight? 824 pounds. Now remember, you always want to use weight distribution bars. You use me to kind of block the wind. Okay. You always want to use weight distribution bars. And what I love about this trailer, even though it's entry level, there's a lot of high-end features like this power tongue jack right here. Right here, two 20-pound propane tanks go here, and your batteries go there. Yep, stand over there and block the wind. There we right go. Right here's a black diamond plate rock guard here. And when, when I say entry level, what I mean is it's aluminum corrugated sides with wood framing but trust me once you see the inside you're going to love it right here we have very nice very big pass through storage electric stabilizing jacks i love that yeah. all you got to do is push a button no cranking nothing and a huge power awning with led lights right here you do have steps going up into the living room steps for the oh i like it's the solid steps uh, you do have another door to the bathroom there. Nice big grab handle right here. And then here we do kind of have like a little half kitchen. It is a Furion refrigerator, which we love. And a Suburban cooktop. Very nice. We do have a nice big power awning with LED lights. Here we got speakers on the outside. A spray port if you want some water. TV, coax, potable water fill. Potable, potable. And then check out these tires, Will. They're the Castle Rocks. I love these. ST225-75R15. Very nice. Power on the outside and everything. Coming down the side. Again, the second door. This one leads to the bathroom. Coming around the back. We got a nice bumper for your stinky slinky. Spare tire with a spare tire carrier right there. Water heaters right there. And it is prepped for a Furion backup camera. And will. Guess who's the official partner of Matt's RV Reviews? Fury on themselves. And guess where somebody can get a Fury on backup camera? Off of our link down in the description below. We partnered with Fury on to do two things. One, so they give us a little bit of money, because that's always cool, right? Yeah. But two, what it does for you guys, when you buy directly through Fury on using our code, you're actually buying it cheaper than buying it from a third party like Amazon. So it's a win-win situation. That's right. We appreciate it. We sure do. Coming down the side here. We got your black tank flush, city wall connection, cable and satellite. And then right here's your 30 amp power cord. Very great place oh, to yeah. dump your black and gray tank. You're not digging on the ground or whatever. It's very nice. And then finishing up. The other side of that storage. Very nice. I like how the storage is held up by a magnet yep. as well. Well, well, the outside of this trailer looks great, but it is the inside that makes it special. Let's go take a look. After you, good sir. All right. All right, starting up front, you got the bedroom here. Yep. You got the living area, dining area, and kitchen mm. here. Then in the back, we got the bunks and the bathroom. 
Just a good looking layout. Okay? It sure is. We're gonna start up front in this bedroom. Will, look at this. I have plenty of walking around space. It's yeah. not tight back here. We have a wardrobe right here, which is oh, very nice, I must sure. say so. We got storage. If you open that side up. Same thing over here. There's a little cubby hole as well below. Oh, you're right. To run like a, uh, a CPAP machine. Yep. And then storage above there. Then you got two little tabletops, USBs right there. Very nice. And then here, we have, wow, very nice storage under the bed. I love how high the bed lifts up. Yep. I love these little uh, black square compartment things. Very, very nice bedroom. And honestly, I just love how big and spacious this bedroom is. is. You're yeah. not like squeezing through. And uh, a TV does mount right there. Over here in the living room area, we have the Versa Lounge. So uh, first, let's start with the U-shaped dinette. Okay. Very big, very nice U-shaped dinette. I love it. I love all the windows around this whole slide out. I even love these privacy shades, how they're like the gray tone. Yep. Very nice looking in here. Underneath the U-shaped dinette, check that out, Will. We got buckets Very underneath nice. both of the U-shaped dinettes. And this U-shaped dinette does drop down to make a bed. And then right here, we have our three-seater sofa. It's called the Versa Lounge. But Will, yeah. show us what that means. All right. Let's say, so, no, uh, I'm sorry, you talk. Oh, okay. So if you remove these two cushions here, temporarily, and then you pull this up, Wow, look at, would you look at that? And then you drop it in here. Got a little spot that slides into there. Would you look at that? And you put these back. Get which, like this, oops. And this goes here. Boom, L-shaped sectional. Yep. The Versa Lounge, we love that, don't we, Will? We sure do. Very nice, it looks good. Yeah, look at that. Very easy to set up. And then you got more storage buckets underneath. Very cool. What's cool is then if you jackknife it, it's an even bigger bed. It is, yes. So. And then across is uh, where your entertainment center is. No TV, no big deal. Um, you can get a Furion TV down below. Um, <laughs> but but no TV, it helps save on price point. Furion uh, sound system there and a Greystone fireplace. And then right here is your pantry space. Now people might be wondering, Matt, why would I want a Furion TV? Furion makes the, they, they don't make the best electronics out there. They make the most durable electronics out there. So yeah, you can get a Samsung HD TV, but OLED. when you hit your first OLED, right? But when you hit your first speed bump, it's gonna break. Furion just makes them stronger. So yeah, true story. If you do need a Furion TV, use our link down below. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, it's now time for the MSRP. MSRP on this travel trailer here is $37,246 MSRP. Sale price, as you can see here, we don't currently have a sale price, but will. We sell either the Salem or the Wildwood at almost every single one of our locations. Yep. And so we buy so many of these, we know we can get everybody in America the best price. We'll tell everybody how to do it. They can call, they can text, they can email, they can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962. That's my personal cell number. Or send me an email, mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. Or even better, go to the website, mattsrvreviews.com. There you will see a contact me tab of three choices. If you're ready to buy this RV or any RV, click tab number one, that takes you to General RV and somebody from my team will get you the best price in America. If you have questions about this RV, click tab number two, that sends an email to both Will and myself and we will be able to answer you ASAP or if you have just a generalized fan question, click that third tab and we will still get back to you ASAP. But Will, it doesn't matter if they click tab three, two or one, What's the one thing that every tab has in common? They're going to get the best price in America. Burr, 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 burr. Will, let's continue the video. All right. All right, guys. So we will start. Let's start over here. Okay. Like Matt said, you do have that nice pantry to start with. Yes. Um, over here, you have a nice spray faucet. Two bowl sink here with the little cover. Mm-hmm. Um, not solid surface countertops. Not which, a big deal. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. But nice storage there. 
Um, got some storage up top here. With transparent doors. Yeah, very nice. A nice window here, um, you know, to let in some nice natural light. Yes, what's sir. going on out on your campsite. You didn't even mention that beautiful backsplash. Not yet. That we'll backsplash is it. beautiful. Yeah. Will's and like, some drawers. Will's like, don't rush me. <laughs> this is my segment. Yeah, my, <laughs> my part of the show. Uh, nice. Greystone microwave there. Yep. Nice Greystone range hood here. Talk about the back. And a nice yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey guys, you guys don't know this, but Will's been with me for 27 days straight. That's right. You know, it, it can be. <laughs> it, it's fun for the first five or ten days. It's it, fun for 27. Yeah, it can get frustrating though. Um, nice blue lights and oven there. Hang on, hang on, I missed that. Oh, turn in the oven there. Very nice. Nice ever chill compressor fridge. I love that they're doing compressor fridge. Yes, sir. It's already getting cold. And more pantry space. Look at that. Double pantry. And what I'll say about this is it's nice because it also gives the kids some um, storage space for their clothes and whatnot. Yeah, for sure. Before we take out that bathroom, let's just look at the bunk beds okay. right here. Um, as Will said, very nice. You got the teddy bear bunk series storage underneath it there. It doesn't lift or does, does it? does not lift. Nope. You got uh, the bed up here. Very, very nice, you know? Um, good size. You got the ladder here, and well, that shower that might do it. It might. Um, that's a big. It's a big, it's a big shower. It is a big shower. Yeah, I think we're good. Uh, it's close. Borderline, but we're gonna pass it. Yep. Bing. Very nice. That passes the tall test. Look how big and wide that it shower is. It's nice like shower. a thirty by thirty six shower. Yeah, I like Very it. Very nice. You have this nice radius door. Yep. Very nice. You have a door to the bathroom if you need to air it out, which I like. Medicine cabinet right there. Nice little sink and vanity with storage underneath. And then the toilet situation. It's going to be plastic, isn't it? I just don't get it. Because they put so many other uh, nice features. Plastic toilet. Womp, womp. It's in a great placement, too. It is. It just yeah. drives me nuts. Drives me nuts, Will. It drives me nuts. I hear you. Well, Will, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's now time we give you three things we... Oh, hang on a second. Man, you took away one of my dislikes. Look yeah. at that. It flips up. Would you look at that? Very nice. I knew it did. I was about to say, that was about to be one of my dislikes. Yeah. So now I got to find a new dislike. Okay. Now, before everybody leaves, it's now time we give you three things we love about this travel trailer and three things we dislike about it. Will, what do we do first? Three things we dislike? Well, yes, and you just took away one of mine. No, and I only have one, and I feel like we're going to share it. Oh, okay, talk to me. It's the carpet under the dinette. Well, here's the problem. We're 100% going to share that because carpet under the dinette sucks. Yep. That's one. But two, um, this trailer overall checks off so many boxes um, because it's uh, not a higher end, and, and so it's really tough to find dislikes. So, yes, that is number one. Number two, I really wish that bed didn't flip up because <laughs> that would have been a dislike. No, I'm glad that it does. No, now it just makes it hard to find dislikes. Yeah. Number two. I could say something. It's a little bit stretching, but I wish they at least optioned it for a second AC unit. Yep. Yep. For sure. No, this is a bigger trailer. It is. It's gonna be it's gonna be Especially a little bit if you're warmer down south during the, if you want to go to the beach during the summer yep, yep it's gonna be hot in here yeah it's not gonna be well, hot I mean, in here it's, but it's gonna take longer to cool i should say yeah and two ac units is just twice as good yep and you didn't need to put the second ac unit but you could have right. optioned it right for sure for sure that's two for three you got to do the toilet i might do the toilet let me see if there's a for all the oh. other options and then the fact no i'm gonna say this really yeah i'm not a huge fan of this kitchen you know skill do you do you veto me no let's combo i don't like this outside kitchen much and that plastic toilet yeah no it has to be the plastic toilet i mean look they're giving you right. solid steps they're giving you a power tongue jack they're giving you electric stabilizing you have to put a porcelain toilet in. you do yeah great so that's three things we don't like about it now it's time for three things we love about this travel trailer i'm gonna go first okay the versa lounge yeah i think it's awesome i think it gives you more 
seating when you need it and you also get a nice big u-shaped dinette yeah or you keep it the same and you have a regular size sofa right i love this feature i look think it looks fantastic it's so smart so easy to do and it's awesome yeah so that's one two well your potential dislike me came my like oh yeah so i really like i like these bunk areas um you know it's not sectioned off but i'm okay with that it's not like a separate room but it, because it's a nice big bunks and gives you plenty of storage and i'll combo it with the two pantries because you could really use this for a storage well you just took away from my third like oh sorry by doing the combo well we're off sync it's the 27 days together <laughs> but okay so 2.5 uh so my third like was going to be all the pantry space in here is phenomenal for a it travel trail like this but it's okay because i do have a number three okay i like the colors can i combo that with the huge windows no more combos no yes huge windows like that's colors. what they're kind of like known for i feel like it's and just nice like big windows. just the big windows but like even this right how it just matches the theme it's not like a black right or a white or a screen and it's it, still dark yeah you know? and, it, and, it, and it just flows together the yep. way this the way this looks is beautiful yep and then i'm gonna give you one more dang look how tall will is yeah plenty of head good room. head space well that's it y'all that's the review thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching if you guys have any questions about this rv please call me text me send me an email it is matt's rv reviews gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That is my personal cell number. Or the best thing to do is to go to mattsrvreviews.com and click one of the three contact me tabs. In a few seconds, you're going to see what this unit competes against right here. Will, do you have anything you want to say? Sure. All right, guys. Again, like we said earlier, this is a very popular unit. So I hope you guys like it. Definitely leave in the comments down below three things you like and dislike. Because this is like almost like a baby for, you know, Salem. You know, it's one of their top sellers. They want to make sure that it's something that people like. Yep. So leave in the comments below three things you like and dislike. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching and we'll, we'll see you next time.